Hey guys, Shatner here coming out with my first uh, tutorial, I would say, for chopper piloting. Um, I've seen and played with a lot of chopper pilots before who are, quite frankly, subpar. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to go out there and say I'm the best, but I, I believe I am decent enough to come out with a tutorial video. So this is my attempt at it, if you will. One thing that I want chopper pilots to know is where their gunner is looking at because that's very important for a chopper pilot because you want to support your gunner who's going to get more of the kills than you are. So if you see that little box on the bottom uh, center of your of the screen right underneath rocket that's where they're looking and I'll I'll go and switch into the gunner seat which by default is F2 and as you can see I can move it around and that box is moving as I move. So as a pilot, you need to be aware of where your gunner is looking at, and that's one of the main things you should be looking at, because if you're shooting over here on the right side, and your chopper pilot is turned to the left, that's just, that's just bad. Just straight up bad. Anyway, I'll switch back into pilot C here, F1 by default. Now, the second thing I'm sure you all have noticed is the throttle up and throttle down keys, W and S, by default. A, D is yaw left and right, and mouse is roll left and right. So those are your basic keys. Now let's, uh, let's lift off and show you some moves here. So pressing W on the right side of the screen, you can see a little bar that shows your height. Now you see right about 25 on the right side that box starts blinking red that means you are under radar if you have a lot of chopper unlocks under radar is one of them which decreases uh, or sorry increases locking time and or makes it impossible for stinger and iglo lock-ons now looking in the center tool to use here I'll move around so you can see it a little bit better uh, that is where you're aiming literally the the front of your chopper is looking right at that cur that uh, crosshair. Now, if you fire, depending on your altitude, your speed, and your incline decline, there your rockets, your uh, these rockets <laughs> may not actually hit that cursor target. So you always need to be aware of where you are and what you're shooting at, and where your rockets are flying, so that you can adjust that. Now, as I'm moving my mouse up and down you can see that there are these bars lining up that is to show your stability of the chopper if you will I'm not sure the the exact technical term you can find that out for yourself if you want but that shows you if your chopper is on a straight plane now if I move my mouse forward which pitches my the chopper down just like that you can see I'm now at a I let's see I guess that would be a five percent decline maybe not sure exactly how that works out, but it, it shows you I'm at a decline of five measurements, whatever that may be. Now, if I go back up, I'm at a I'm on the a horizontal plane. If I go, if I pull back further on my mouse, going and picking my chopper nose up higher, it shows that I'm at a five percent meter foot uh, incline. I like to go ahead and show you some turning skills that are very important. Um, you always, like I said, you always want to be aware of what your gunner is looking at and firing at. And so one of the one of the more important things I would say of a chopper pilot is to make sure that your gunner can always fire. Now, you don't ever, now that RPGs will actually one-shot you, uh, you don't ever want to stay in one position and just let your gunner fire at stuff all day long. You don't want to sit here and, you know, back and forth and back and forth with RPGs. Let's say there's a bunch of guys over here. Let's say this is a rush con uh, carg island. You don't want to sit in one spot forever, um, because that's just give you gives your enemies a, a lot better shot at you. Uh, one of my favorite tactics is a circle strafe. That's where I hold my W key to make sure I maintain power. Use my D key to yaw to the right as I push my mouse a little bit to the left and adjust for stability. Now, right here, I'm pushing up and to the right to pull the chopper to the right as I circle strafe around objectives or enemies or what have you. I will not ever pull 
the or press the A key to yaw left because that's obviously not where I'm circle strafing around. And I'm I'm pressing D ever so slightly every once in a while to correct for the changes in in altitude and viewpoint for my gunner and myself in fact too, so I am still able to take shots without giving myself uh, an easy target to the enemies by standing still. Another important tactic to have is as you're doing a flyby, uh, which is a quick maneuver uh, diving straight down onto enemies, you also want to make sure that you can turn around quick enough so that your gunner can get shots off before you are shot out. Um, so let me give you an example of that real quick. And right at the end of it, I turn quickly and sharply and give my chopper gunner a better viewpoint right after that dive and go straight into a circle strafe. And then I'll dive again in a second over what would be a objective here. Go up over a hill, drop down a little bit, and turn immediately so my gunner has more time on target. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on basic piloting skills. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any comments uh, if, or questions, if you could please leave them in the comment box below. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Shatner, out.